Good evening, everybody. I'm joined by Port Vale manager John Askey after we lose 3-0 to Swindon Town. Gaffer, I imagine you, you're really disappointed with, with the overall afternoon there. Yeah, I'm disappointed, obviously. Um, we uh, we deserve to lose today. Uh, I haven't said that many times this season. Um, but we just didn't, uh, didn't do the simple things uh, well enough. Sometimes when you play teams, uh, especially when they're going well at the top of the table, the game's going to be quicker and you haven't got time to bring the ball down. You've just got to have runners going in behind as they did and uh, you've got to move the ball quickly. Um, sometimes it ain't going to be pretty, uh, but you've got to get them turned and we never did that. We never did it in the game. They did it to us. Um, you wouldn't say that they played fantastic, but what they did, they did the simple things well by getting the ball forward and having forwards who chase, chase the ball and put us under pressure and made us make mistakes and we never did that to them. Is that the most disappointing thing of this afternoon, the fact that you've come into this one on the back of a really good 1-0 win against Leighton Orient where you do the simple things correctly and, and it progresses from there and today it's just not happened for you? No, it's a different game. Against Leighton Orient you've got more time to play in these games you haven't so you've got to adapt to, to each game and we didn't do that today. People wanted to play the same way as they've been playing against Leighton Orient uh, and, and other teams. You haven't got the time, time on the ball to do that so you've got to earn the right to play. Uh, and one thing you can do is get them turned and go and close them down. But as I say, we just didn't have enough runners running forward and we didn't play the ball uh, forward enough. Uh, and that's how the first goal came from uh, playing tippy-tappy football when the ball should have been in there off of the pitch. Uh, so that's what was disappointing because, you know, if you talk about it, you know, if teams are going to close you down, then you, you've got to go a little bit longer. Uh, and then once you stretch them, then the, it may start to open up for you. I imagine that was the biggest frustration heading in at half-time, was the fact that you got to about the 40th minute, it was still nil-nil. We lose the ball cheaply in the midfield and all of a sudden, you know, the floodgates have opened, they've carved us open for the second goal. Is that the biggest frustration, that if you maybe got to half-time at nil-nil, things maybe could have opened up a bit more for you in the second half? Yeah, because as you say, you're going at 1-0, you're still well in the game. You are at 2-0, you know, it can soon, soon change. But we never looked as though we got a goal in us today, um, and that was we. As I say, we just didn't didn't perform, and uh, uh, that's what's disappointing. Chance to make things right real quickly. A game on Tuesday against Exeter City. It's, it's not going to be an easy game. They're fighting for automatic promotion, but you tend to respond well after poor performances like that. Is that what you're hoping for? A big reaction from the players? Well, hopefully, um, all we can do is learn from this game. Uh, it's no use uh, sulking and uh, getting down about it. We've got to learn from it. And then uh, on Tuesday, we've got to perform. As we know, at home, um, we've got a great home record. Um, hopefully, uh, we, can, we can go back there and uh, do better than what we've done today.